Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a little video for you about blisters. I get a lot of people asking me all the time as a running coach or as a runner. Um, I do a lot of trail running myself, a lot of long races, a lot of fast races in the past and blisters are certainly something I know a little bit about. So I'm going to talk today about a few tips, a few tricks that I use to prevent getting blisters. Prevention is the best cure and when it comes to blisters it really is about the preparation leading into your long races, maybe your faster races or maybe just dealing with those problem areas to make sure you don't get a blister within your race because it can be make or break. If you're going for a PR, if you're going for a fast time or a strong performance, getting a blister halfway through the race is something you certainly don't want to get. So I'm going to talk about some of the tips today guys that might help you prevent blisters in the future. So first and foremost, what are blisters? Blisters are tiny pockets of fluid that can build up on the outer layers of your skin during these intense bouts of running or exercise. So if you're increasing your mileage, increasing the speed, the duration or the intensity of your running, or maybe if you're just doing more running on the trails, that can be a big one. If you switch in from running on the road to doing more work on the trails where there's more directions, there's more chances of slipping or sliding, it's caused by this friction within your shoe. So any rubbing area is gonna cause a blister and it's gonna cause these tiny little pockets of fluid to build up. And I'm sure if you haven't suffered from them before, I'm sure you'll know the moment you get a blister, you can feel it. And the best thing to do is to treat it or to take care of it before it gets any worse. So the first tip I'm gonna talk about in making sure you don't get yourself any blisters is finding a good pair of shoes. Obviously it comes down to your shoes. Your shoes are your number one tool as a runner. Making sure you get good shoes that fit you well that suit your foot shape is really important. These days, obviously, you can get an array of different shoes, different sizes, but the most important thing I would definitely recommend is making sure you're getting the right size for you. So making sure that you've got at least a thumb width of space at the front of your shoes, enough space for your toes to spread out, to give them enough space to breathe almost. If you've got tight-fitting shoes, shoes that don't fit you properly, you're gonna get a lot of blisters. You're gonna get a lot of area that is rubbing up against the outer sole of the shoe. It's gonna cause a lot of friction and it's gonna be really uncomfortable, causing lots of blisters. So the next tip is getting a good pair of socks. Socks are your barrier between your foot and the shoe. And getting a good pair of socks is really important. Cotton might feel light, might feel good, might feel even a bit breathable, but obviously cotton's gonna maintain a lot of moisture. As you're running, you're gonna sweat loads. If you're running on the trails, you're gonna be running through lots of water. Maybe you've got a lot of stream crossings within your run. Cotton is not gonna do the job. You wanna make sure you've got a synthetic sock, something that can breathe a little bit, something that can dry easily as you're running through those miles and be a lot more comfortable on your feet. Taking that moisture away from the skin is really important because there's nothing worse than having wet feet for an extended period of time on the trails. And that's where you're gonna see a lot of blisters setting in. So the next tip is doubling up on socks, wearing two pairs of socks. So it might seem a bit crazy, but this is a number one tip, which I really recommend. It's something I used to do when I was younger, when I used to play a lot of roller hockey, wearing tight boots then, or doing skiing or any of these activities, wearing two pairs of socks is a really great way to prevent yourself from getting blisters. So it's really important to make sure that if this is something that you find really works for you, or if your shoes feel tight when you double up on the pair of socks, perhaps thinking about going up half a size. So if you're an ultra runner, this is something which should, I would definitely recommend, maybe getting a bigger pair of shoes than you're used to, half a size up, late into a race when your feet have swollen a little bit, given the amount of time that you're on your feet, they will swell throughout the exercise if they're getting hot as well. Those shoes will feel nice and cozy, and those two pairs of socks will help to reduce the friction between the sock and the skin, give you an extra barrier there. So those two pairs of socks will rub against each other nicely, leaving your skin friction free hopefully and reducing the likelihood of you building up any blisters. Okay guys, tip number four, I'd recommend trying some tape, some plasters or even some bandages. So before you go out in your race, before those blisters set in, or maybe it's a long training run, you might have areas of your feet that you know are prone to blisters. So I recommend taping those up. So even if there's no blister there at the moment or there's no issue there, tape it up, put a bit of a plaster on there, maybe a little bit of micropore tape, something really just simple like that can be, again, just another barrier to protect the skin to prevent the blisters from on setting. So as again, going back to that preparation guys, making sure you get something on the feet in the areas that you know you're gonna suffer with is really important and simple process takes one minute but could be the difference for you of a blister free foot. Okay, and last tip guys, number five, lubricate your feet. So coconut oil, paw paw, these are natural products that I would use for myself to lubricate my feet. Obviously some people might wanna use Vaseline but I would recommend finding a vegan, plant-based version, something a bit more natural that is going to be great for moisturizing your feet there, adding that little bit of lubricant there which is going to reduce the friction on your foot, 
and uh, causing the blisters so apply it liberally guys literally all over your foot all between the toes really important the longer the race the more strenuous the race the more stream crossings the wet torturous conditions that you're going to face the more lubricant you can put on there so before you do anything get that lubricant on there maybe apply some plasters just before you do that get your first pair of socks on your second pair of socks and make sure your shoes are going to fit you nicely and you should be blister free for your ultra for your trail race or even for your road race or just your general day-to-day -day training it can be the make or break when it comes to training so if you're thinking about upping the intensity of your training trail running maybe you're training for your first marathon your half marathon or maybe you're just stepping up from 5k to 10k or maybe you've just started running and blisters are something you're suffering with it is uh, frustrating to have blisters for sure guys but stick with it stick with your running don't let it be the thing that stops you from getting out the door in the morning be prepared as anything and you should be blister free over the years your feet will toughen up anyway and i'm sure you'll see a reduction in blisters myself i run a lot of 100k ultra races and uh it's very rare now that i'll get blisters i have been running for a long time but at the start i always got blisters and it's just taken using these preventative tips making sure that i'm doing all i can before i get into these long hard races it keeps your feet happy and keeps the results coming in so hope these tips work for you guys let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas that maybe you guys implement for your ultra races for any of your training to prevent blisters it'd be really awesome to know if anyone's got any great unique interesting ideas that they could share with everyone else in the community that might be watching this video make sure you subscribe to this channel for useful helpful tips on running like these if you enjoyed these videos please subscribe guys it means a lot to me and obviously it means that you'd never miss a video as well Make sure you check out Harry Runs on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, you can always drop me an email if you're interested in coaching or training plans at harryrunsuk.gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy running.